Imagine boarding a spaceship, accelerating endlessly in one direction, faster and faster, chasing the very edge of existence. What would you find? Would you crash into a cosmic wall, drift into a void, or loop back and find yourself staring at Earth again? Scientists have debated this for centuries, because the truth is, we don't know. But what we do know is far stranger than anyone expected. In this video, we're going to explore what lies beyond the limits of our reach. Not just physically, but conceptually. The universe we see is only a fraction of what's really out there. We'll dive into mind-bending theories, terrifying truths, and cosmic paradoxes that defy human logic. So buckle in, because by the end of this journey, you may never look at the night sky the same way again. Let's start with what we can see. The observable universe stretches about 46 billion light years in every direction. That's the furthest light has had time to travel since the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. But wait, how can we see 46 billion light years if the universe is only 13.8 billion years old? The answer lies in the expansion of space itself. It's not just that light travels across the universe. Space stretches while it travels, pulling galaxies farther apart in real time. This means we're not seeing things as they are, but as they were. Every star you see in the night sky is a memory, light that left its source thousands, millions, even billions of years ago. And many of those stars are already gone. So when we look into deep space, we aren't seeing the present. We're seeing ancient light, fossils of galaxies that may no longer exist. They're still visible, but unreachable. That glowing speck might have burned out eons ago. We're looking at farewell images from the edge of time. And the deeper we look, the older the universe appears. We can peer back to within a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. That's the limit, not of the universe itself, but of our instruments and the laws of physics. Beyond that, it's not just darkness, it's a mystery. Now, here's where it gets strange. If we launched a spaceship at the speed of light right now, it could only reach a small percentage of the galaxies we see. Most of them are already moving away from us faster than light, not because they're breaking the laws of physics, but because space itself is expanding. At around 8.3 billion light years from Earth, we hit what's known as the point of no return. Beyond that line, the expansion of the universe is pulling everything away faster than even light can chase it. If you cross it, no matter how fast you go, you'll never get back, ever. That's not science fiction. That's our reality. The most mind-bending part, that point is moving closer to us all the time. Each second, more galaxies slip past it. Even though we can still see them, we are now disconnected from them forever. What's causing this runaway expansion? Two words, dark energy. It's invisible, unstoppable, and it makes up about 68% of the universe. We don't know what it is, but we do know what it does. It pushes the universe apart faster and faster over time. Every second, more galaxies disappear from our reach, not because they're destroyed, but because they're slipping beyond the cosmic horizon. This expansion isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. And that means the universe is effectively breaking into islands of isolation. Eventually, the only galaxy we'll see will be our own. The rest of the universe will fade into an unreachable abyss, like ships sailing over the horizon, never to return. In the far future, our distant descendants may live in a universe where other galaxies are mere legends, stories written in ancient data logs, remnants of a cosmos once brimming with light. But still, what about the edge? If we kept flying, kept accelerating forever, would we eventually hit a boundary, a wall, a void? Surprisingly, no. Or at least, not in any way we can currently prove. The universe may not have an edge in space, but in time. If space is infinite, there's no end to how far you can travel. But if it's closed, like the surface of a sphere, you could fly in a straight line and end up right where you started. It's possible that the universe wraps around itself in a higher dimension, and we just can't see it from our three-dimensional perspective. Some theories suggest we live inside a four-dimensional hypersphere. Others describe the universe as a kind of cosmic donut, a torus, looping in on itself in ways our brains can barely comprehend. In either case, there's no wall to crash into, just a continuous curve through space-time. This brings us to one of the most mind-blowing ideas in cosmology, the fourth spatial dimension, not time, 
a true fourth dimension of space. Imagine you're a two-dimensional being living on a sheet of paper. You can go forward, backward, left, and right, but not up or down. Now imagine a three-dimensional being pokes a finger through your paper world. You wouldn't see the finger. You'd see a circle appear, expand, and vanish. That's what a 4D universe could be to us. Something completely around us, completely invisible. If the universe is wrapped in a fourth dimension, the edge isn't far away. It's everywhere. We're just not built to see it. Some physicists believe gravity itself may leak into this higher dimension. Others suspect dark matter could be a shadow of things existing just beyond our 3D perception. These aren't wild guesses. They're based on real math, real data, and real gaps in our understanding. And if the universe truly is infinite, then the consequences are terrifying. In an infinite cosmos, every possible arrangement of matter must exist somewhere, no matter how unlikely. That means there's another version of you out there, and another, and another. Somewhere, you've already watched this video. Somewhere, you never existed. Somewhere, you're watching it again, for the millionth time. Physicists call this the horror of infinity, because in an infinite universe, nothing is truly impossible. It's just a matter of where and when it happens. The quantum foam of space means particles can appear and vanish out of nothing. In an infinite timeline, the most improbable events become inevitable. Planets forming out of chaos, life arising from dust. And yes, you, sitting here, listening to this, emerging against all odds. So, does the universe have an edge? Not in the way we imagine. There's no wall, no fence, no sign that says, you've gone too far. The edge is in our limits, in what we can see, what we can reach, and what we can understand. And maybe, just maybe, the real edge is already all around us. Or worse, maybe we've already passed it without ever realizing.